best girl I ever seen. I try to keep it down, but she not everybody knows. Just tell me if you're down to say something for me. I wanna see you now. You should come out to my shows. You're the baddest girl I ever seen. I try to keep it down, but she not everybody knows. I just wonder if you're down to say something for me. I wanna see you now. You should come out to my shows. Hey. Yeah, that's the one. He let out a little smirk like he was finding it fun. And then he asked about his work. He said, Look, isn't it dumb? If you could make all the money in the world, but leave your passion back stuck in the dirt, wouldn't it hurt? You know what's worse when they devalue your work. You should never look, you should You should never feel you're wasting time on this earth. I mean Everything is simple. that certain things are under your control and certain things are not under your control and it's about the relief that you feel and the new sense of freedom that you feel in that realization so my creative process is I'll usually start with a musical idea like some chords maybe a bass line maybe rarely a drum pattern and I think I have like one song in the past that I started with lyrics and then wrote the music to the lyrics. Gradually build out a rough skeleton and then I'll write any lyrics or anything vocal, I'll usually write it to the musical structure that I've already laid out. And then I'll just fill in the gaps with little embellishments, if it's vocal embellishments or instrumental things to just keep it interesting as it moves forward through the music. My parents are both musicians, so I guess my musicality has like gradually just developed throughout all the genres of music I've heard and studied at school, you know, heard from my family background, if that's Latin music or hearing on the radio, anything I enjoy listening to, hip hop, you know, so alternative, James Blake. I don't know, I have so many influences. So what I create is just a culmination of my taste in music from what I've heard, everything I like the most with my personality on it. Uh, my mom is Venezuelan and my dad is Brazilian. I was born in London, I've lived in London my whole life. Right now, I'm currently based in Atlanta, I got here on the 11th of January with two of my friends. We're working on some very interesting music. Is there a creative community where you live? If so, what is that like? Yeah, I mean, in London, there's more, more than I can count. There's always stuff going on creatively, jam sessions, you know, there's a lot of underground artists bubbling, especially in like the alternative soul kind of range, which I like seeing. But you know, where I am now, there's a lot going on as well. There's like, it's less than half a million people in Atlanta. And there's, you know, you know how much influence Atlanta has right now in the music industry. So it's very tight knit. Everyone knows someone. There's a lot of open mic jam sessions. There's a lot of creatives that are very active and yeah, it's cool to be around and, you know, develop.